suppose we'll meet any wild animals? Mm, we might. everyone welcome back to another travel tip Thursday so this travel tip uh, is Costa Rica but it's also other tropical climates around the world that you might be traveling to we get this question a lot what are the bugs like uh, what are the the snakes like are there dangerous animals things like that so we thought we'd do a travel tip Thursday on this just to let you know uh, what we've experienced as well as some tips when you're here in Costa Rica or other tropical uh, destinations so yes there are Things like tarantulas, scorpions, snakes, um, mosquitoes, things like that. Uh, do we see it all the time? No. Certain areas you're definitely gonna see more of that, especially if you go to the south, uh, like Manuel Antonio or into the inland, uh, in the jungles, things like that. But in the Guanacaste region where we are, um, it's, you just don't see it all that often, uh, especially here at Sea Casa. We uh, built our containers off the ground. We've also completely sealed the inside. So the only way that you're getting something like a scorpion or uh, anything like that in the rental is if it came in on your bag or in your shoe. Um, so that's uh, first tip is to shake out your shoes. Don't leave them outside. Uh, if you did by accident, shake them out. Make sure there's no spider or scorpion uh, in there. They like to go into like, little dark crevices like that. So uh, if you happen to forget them outside, shake them out really well before putting them on. Uh, but yeah, keep them inside. That way you're not gonna uh, invite them into a nice warm dwelling. Uh, tip number two is when you come back from the beach or a jungle hike or something like that and you have a bag, shake it out as well. Um, a lot of times things uh, can and grab on like a scorpion or something like that will grab on and hang on or they'll, they'll slip into your bag uh, which has happened to a lot of people then it gets into your rental or your house so yeah again shake that out to make sure there's nothing that has snuck its way in um, snakes even I don't know like if you're in the jungle maybe one can slither in there um, tip number three don't leave your clothes on the floor in your rental uh, if there is scorpions in the place that you're renting uh, they're again they're gonna go into those clothes and make a nice little nest in there so uh, if, if you happen to accidentally leave your clothes or your bath towel on the floor pick it up and shake it out really well outside just to make sure nothing has crawled in there and uh, stings you in places you don't want to be stung or anywhere actually um, that happened to our youngest son Lakai he had left his shorts on a f on the floor of a place we were renting and the scorpion got in there and he put them on and it stung him twice in his inner thigh. So yeah, shake your clothes and your towels out before you use them. So as far as uh, dangerous bugs and snakes and stuff like that, in this area, yes, we have scorpions. They're not dangerous. They, if they sting you, it's like a bee sting. Uh, obviously, if you're allergic to bees or that kind of sting, then it can pose an issue. Uh, just have like... Um, Benadryl or something like that handy and then uh, go to the doctor right away just to be safe that you're not you're not going to swell up or anything like that um, We've had three on our property like we keep our property super clean So again, it's it's yard maintenance. It's things like that just to keep those insects away uh, Snakes yes, we've seen snakes here. We've had them on our property when we first were building um, we actually spray a chemical called carbolina and it it smells like road tar so we spray the property we spray around the houses that way the snakes stay away they don't like the smell so uh, that's how we keep snakes off of our property um, we've seen them crossing the road like boas which I mean they're not poisonous so uh, we've seen them outside of town crossing the road so there is snakes around you just don't see them that often I've seen three so um, yeah, <laughs> not often at all. Uh, as you go into the jungles, if you go to the Osa Peninsula, into Manuel Antonio, we have chickens if you think they're dangerous. Um, you're gonna see snakes and uh, bigger bugs and stuff like that. So uh, again, it's no different than where you live. Uh, we lived in Kelowna, we had black widows in our basement. We had uh, rattlesnakes. We had things like cougars in our backyard, bears. So uh, it's really no different than where you live. It's just uh, different things and uh, just be, be smart with it. Don't uh, don't leave your stuff outside for them to crawl into. And uh, yeah, we uh, we have big grasshoppers. Um, put a video of one uh, shot last night. Actually, uh, it's like the size of my hand, but they're not dangerous or anything. They just they're just big. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, mosquitoes. So a lot of people ask about mosquitoes. 
in the Guanacaste region uh, province, we have some mosquitoes, but mostly we have what's called noceums, they're little gnats. They'll come out at like sunset for about an hour and a bit and they will attack you. And unfortunately, DEET and bug spray doesn't really keep them away. Uh, you need like high pressured fans because then they can't fly in it. So that's the biggest concern would be gnats and uh, yeah the odd odd mosquitoes rainy season you'll get a little bit more of that um, but again if you're living down here or you're renting somewhere don't leave stale water around because then they'll lay eggs and things like that so yeah I just thought I'd do a quick travel tip video just to give those a uh, couple tips when you are here um, yeah it's uh, it's like I said it's no different than where you live as far as bugs and dangerous creatures go they're just different ones and uh, you don't see them all the time so yeah that's uh, it so we'll leave the video off I hope you guys like this hope it helps with your travel tips to Costa Rica Nicaragua Thailand any of those places uh, as far as bugs go and uh, if you guys like the video please leave a thumbs up if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come with new videos and we'll see you in the next one ciao